it's definitely in the genre of now what am i going to do with my titties but it's gorgeous hey welcome back or welcome i'm Brittany, and this is the Brittany ink channel today is cute because i'm sharing some new to me brands that i recently discovered i've discovered these brands in the past few months via like instagram ads and not surprisingly tiktok since I spend all my time on there scrolling and swiping. And I wanted to share with y'all these brands and some key pieces that I really enjoy from them. I don't own anything from these brands yet, so I can't like give a review on quality or customer service, fit, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But who knows? I may be copying some of these pieces before the year is out, especially if these dolls have a good Black Friday sale. So let's jump straight into it with the brand that has been bodying my Instagram ads, and that is Sante Grace. Now, based on the fact that it says like Sante Grace Vethmont, meaning clothing in French, I'm going to assume that it's Santé, meaning health, like bon santé, but child, don't quote me. I didn't research any of these brands. I literally found a link and perused the site. So who they're owned by, how long they've been around, all of those details, I don't know because that's not important to me at this time. <laughs> Anywho, we're starting with Sante Grace and she's cute. She has many, many things on the site from boiler suits to pretty silky dresses to jogging suits, leggings. But these are the pieces that stuck out for me. First things first is this sheer pussy bow blouse. It's perfect. It's perfect. It looks so light and so pretty like it would just make a perfect layering piece i can see it under a little dress with the spaghetti strap a la fran fine i can see it underneath a vest and i believe i just mentioned that in a video i don't know which one probably my fall wish list which i will link above if you haven't seen it already where i mentioned having like an ornate blouse and like my vest over it this is perfect for that concept. So yes, 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 yes. Chiffon, count me in, babe. I'm also into this acrylic short set with the rhinestone buttons, babe, because I'm pretty sure when I was like 11, this was my dream outfit, okay? It's like, it's acrylic, not tweed, but it's Chanel Bahucci. And what's more Britney than that? It's hella cute and I didn't mention, but they're sizing. So I'm seeing extra large or XL and then one, two, three and some four. So I'm thinking like one X, two X, three X, four X. So four X probably via the size chart being like a 26, 28 for me, but I'm not sure like again, how small they run or how big they run because I've never tried any of the products. I just wanted to mention that. And then lastly for Miss Grace is this LeMay slip dress. Now girls, we know I love a slip dress and we also know I have not had much luck with them just because I just haven't. <laughs> this is perfect. And I don't necessarily love this silvery white color I'm imagining this in like a black or a forest green or a chocolate. Imagine a chocolate. Imagine this, how this LeMay fabric just looks like melted chocolate. And then as you move, it just conforms to like every curve of your body. This may be my favorite piece that I've seen. Yeah. Okay. From Sante Grace, we're going to move on to a brand that I discovered while shopping the Essence sale. And that is, I don't want to pronounce it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it, is it Mia O? 
meow, 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 meow. I don't know. Let's just say Mio. Mia O gives me Gautier. Look at this top. Look at this tee. Look at this baby tee. It's sheer. It's printed. There's nipples. It's fun. It's fun. And it comes in a multitude of colors if the nipples aren't your thing. I'm really loving the, the thermal body heat trend that's happening right now. And I believe that started with Gautier. They go up to a 4X and we love that. And I'm wondering if it's a 4X, 4X, like a 26, 28, 30, maybe not a 30, maybe I'm going too far. Or if it's a 4X that's really a 2X and it's a 4X for the sake of saying that they're inclusive. I don't know, I've never tried them, but this is definitely, I'm definitely going to have a piece or three from this brand before the year is out because I've been thinking about it ever since I saw Leslie modeling those pieces on Essence. And it's something that Leslie does for me every single time. Every single time, psychologically, I see her in something, I buy the garment. It's like clockwork. This corset and skirt set is so fun. Corsets have been back and they're not going anywhere. I just saw a bunch on spring 2023. They're here for at least the next two seasons, babe. And I'm happy about it because I love me some corsets. I love a good snatched moment. I love a good busty moment. I love the concept of layering them. I love the concept of wearing them on their own. It's perfect. And these prints are just, again, they're so, so fun. But this denim corset, consider her mine. And lastly is this printed patchwork dress. Me, this dress, a tiny little bag and some mules. Yeah, this dress is perfect. It screams Carrie Bradshaw to me. Maybe I'm thinking of like Carrie Bradshaw on like the Dior newspaper dress. Or maybe I've just seen her in so many little printed slip dresses that I can't help but to think of her when I see this, but I absolutely love it. And I so, so, so want this dress. Like, I want this dress. It's really, really pretty. And I think it's really, really sexy. Now this brand, I believe it's pronounced Saza, I discovered on TikTok. And I don't think that this is much of a clothing line that I can shop, but if I want a custom Vivian Westwood-esque corset, I'm visiting this site because they are beautiful. They use vintage recycled materials, the fabrics and such. So it's kind of safe to assume that when you get a custom ordered corset, it's one of one, babe. It's one of one. And I really love that concept. This is definitely going to stay on my radar because I dream of Vivian Westwood like many girls do, but I know that realistically, I'm not ever fitting into a Vivian Westwood piece because I never want to be small enough to fit into a Vivian Westwood piece. So this is my next best bet and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'm be betting on it real soon. Next up is Dipsnia. I believe that's the pronunciation. And this is an Australian brand. And I've noticed, cause there's another brand on this list that's an Australian brand. The Australian girls kind of be doing it. So I'm gonna need to pay more attention to them over there. But this brand is so fun. Sparkle and sheer, two things that I really, really love. This strapped dress is gorgeous. Now, I know, it's definitely in the genre of, now what am I gonna do with my titties? But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The black sparkly sheerness of it all. I don't know, babe, I will risk it. I mean, the dress is leaving no room for tape. It's definitely not leaving room for a bra. Maybe a chicken cutlet or maybe just pasties and a prayer. I don't know, but I'm really, really into this dress. 
and this one too i love a, a throw on slip slinky stretchy sexy dress and this is just effortless it's just effortless if they have this in a chocolate which i don't think they do but imagine if they did mm, yeah you can go to nair restaurant in this dress job because nowadays all of the, the towels and the Nobu and the Steak 48, they have specific rules against wearing garments where you can see the underwear. So I don't know where I would be wearing this dress to, probably somewhere on vacation in the tropics where you can just be naked and free and sexy and fun and happy without like stuffy people around you or people lecturing you about their kids. This dress is fly. And then this little printed set, which definitely caught my eye because it's printed and it's a set. This looks so very different from everything else they have going on in the store, which was exciting because it makes me question which direction are they going to go in next or where is this headed? And for that reason alone, I'm going to keep my eye on this brand because this is fun. And I like this. I love the sparkles, but I love me some prints and some saturated colors. So I'm gonna keep an eye out on this brand. And I failed to mention that they go up to a 4X as well. Another Australian brand, this brand is called Hun the Label and they go from a size 14 to a 28 and they exclusively use linen. So it's screaming summer vacation dress. It's screaming easy breezy, beautiful bad bitch. This little black dress caught my attention because it's so easy and it's so fun and it's so cute. And I think it's one of those where you can dress it up or down. You can wear this out shopping with some sandals or even some sneakers, or you can wear it during the evenings with some mules or like a strappy sandal. The limit kind of does not exist with them. You could even wear it around this time of the year with a, a fun chunky cardigan and like some thigh high boots or knee high socks and an ankle boot. Like she's pretty versatile. She's pretty fun and I like that. And I love this one too. I love the long sleeve, but that little sliver of cleavage, that little peak of the lady globes i love it i love it i love it this definitely it screams date night it screams girls night out it's a great dress to have it's a really great little black dress to have so this brand doesn't have a large collection of things and it seems to me like they honed in on their specialty linen and they're perfecting that with very few dress silhouettes, which I think is a great thing because a lot of companies, they're chasing trends when they could be focusing on specializing in one thing and perfecting that. Now, this is a brand that's really, really exciting to me and I discovered it on Twitter and I think it's black owned. This is sized the brand. And the first thing I saw was this dress and how perfect is this dress y'all as an art hoe this does it for me babe and this style of classic art i go to museums all the time and i'm so used to seeing white people displayed in this way so to see brown black be used here that's very exciting and that makes me very excited about this brand and also this bikini because I'm a bikini bay. Now one thing that I have learned since following this brand for a few months is that they do specific drops and there's no restocks. So if I'm going to jump on these products, I need to jump real, real quick. I'm not sure if there's a new drop coming, but this was the summer drop. So, you know, it's a small business. I'm not sure how fast things happen, but I really, really like these offerings and I'm super interested to see what they're going to do with like colder weather silhouettes and fabrications. 
And last on the list is Finesse. And this is another brand that I discovered through my Instagram ads. And on that ad, I saw this coat. Now remember I told y'all, I was done with coats unless I saw a really, really good sex pot dupe. Now, I haven't seen this coat in person. I haven't seen anyone haul this brand. I haven't searched, but I feel like a lot of times things on the internet find me. So any, I haven't seen anyone haul this brand or review this brand on YouTube or TikTok. After I record this, I am going to search to see if I can find anything, but thus far, I have not seen any of that. So I do not know what the quality is like. And that is why I have not purchased this coat. It goes up to a three X and something tells me the three X runs small. I don't know, I just have a feeling. I have a feeling in my chest that this would be a huge disappointment that would leave me looking stupid. So I haven't bit the bullet yet. But from just a glance of it online, this is a really, really good sex pot stoop. These shimmery cargo pants also look very fun, especially since cargo pants are all the rage right now. And then you add a little shimmer to the equation and I'm clocked into the conversation. Like, I would like to know more. And then lastly are these beautiful, gorgeous, stunning pants. Now I've spent the bulk of my adulthood wishing that I could fit the American Apparel Disco Pant because if I were a pant, I would be those pants. And so I gravitate towards anything that has that texture, that look, that shine, that silhouette, anything that grabs onto the body and hugs the body like those do, I'm with it. These, they're not the exception, babe. I'm into these pants solely because they're high-waisted, they're slinky, they're silky looking. They give me disco pants energy. And I'm with it. So that is it for all of the brands that I've come across recently and like enough from appearances to note down. Have you guys heard of these brands? Have you guys tried anything from these brands? Let me know. Sound off below in the comments. Is there any brand that's new, cool, fun, small that I didn't mention and you think I would like things that they offer? Let me know that down below. Make sure you like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.